you you youtube <laughs> well go on youtube how you doing how you guys feeling today you good all right welcome back to the page welcome back to the channel welcome back to the tv show squin tv and as you see behind me is a pair of shoes now if you see my recent uh, video the the complex pickup then you know exactly what's in that box if you haven't seen that video please guys go check it out link is right here go do yourself a favor go watch that then come back because then you have an idea of what's in this box right here but for those who watched that video already let me grab the shoes right here uh, Bam! Sakani, Sakani, Sakai, Sakai's. The waffles are coming out, so I need those. Maybe that's why it's on my mind. But Sakoni, right? Or whatever you want to pronounce it. Leave me alone. <laughs> These came out. Uh, I want to say that they're gonna release the OG colorway in the Sakai grid grid web. Uh, on July 26. Now, when I went to ComplexCon, I walked past a booth and I was like, what the hell is this? And then I asked the guy, are these out yet? And he was like, yeah, you wanna try them on? And I was like, hell yeah, give me up here right No. <laughs> but I tried them on, they were comfy. Uh, the shoes itself is pretty dope, but enough, is, enough of me talking, let's open this box right now and see the glory of these shoes. Now, what fell out was a newspaper, and I'll pick that up in a minute and we'll talk about it. Now, enough about the paper, back into the shoes. Now, going into the upper, and this is where the shoe got, got its name, you're gonna see that the upper looks like a spider web going from black to blue. Inside of the shoe also has the name and the logo bearing that same color that's on the side. Going into the outsole, the blue part is good for trails, while the yellow part is more uh, smooth but still could dig into dirt. That's why they say you needed this shoe for Y2K because you're going to be running through the woods, the mountains, and you need a shoe that was durable. Now going up into the midsole, you have the uh, Sakoni cushioning. It's still a high intense uh, technology, so you could still run in this shoe if you wanted to, but for casual walking, they're going to be just great. Now in the paper, you see it says the end is near. Now this right here was crazy when uh for those who are too young to even remember or was just being born in the year 2000 everybody thought the world was gonna end y2k was the biggest thing ever as soon as it hit like 12 o'clock we were all supposed to die the world was supposed to end like everything was was supposed to get cut off and in this newspaper it tells you that and it gives you tips how to survive it sa says it right here in the cover electricity will will be cut off food supply would be cut short and all that stuff, the banks will fail. This is what you call great marketing. When you open the paper, it says somebody's missing. Then they talk about the founder and all this stuff, like how to get through Y2K. And this shoe legit came out in 2000. So to tie it back with the whole, the world is ending theme. Now, as you see right here, it tells you all the five stuff that you should pick up because the world's gonna end and you're gonna need to run. You need a, a gas mask, you need an Apple book, you need their shoes, nobody else's, just theirs. You need a book, you need C's, a plant, and then you need a watch. Yo, Radio Shack, do you see that? Radio Shack don't even exist anymore. Seeing these shoes in video and having them in hand is two different things. The pictures did them justice. The video might not be doing them justice. They might look like a $40 shoe that you could buy from Target or even, honestly, you can find this at Walmart. That's what it looked like. But having them in hand is a different story. They're dope. I like them. Bombard. I told myself I'm gonna stop using that word and I will look up the dictionary and I would find a word to use. So in my next videos, I will not be saying dope. If you hear me say dope, comment squin, stop say dope. And that's really all I have to say about the shoe. It's a great looking shoe. It fits great, go through the size. If you have a wider feet, I'll say go uh, half size up and you should be good. I have narrow feet and I could have gone a half size up, but the thing is my heel kept slipping out from the back. So I just kept true to size and it fit great. I feel like after a few wears, uh, the upper part is gonna mold to my foot a lot better and I love it. Well, that's it guys. Once again, thank you for watching my video. 
If you follow me on IG, you see that I'm doing a road to 500 campaign because I really want to get to 500 because with 500 means 1000. And I think I should get there or I think I could get there by the end of this year, but I want to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. So if you think we could do it, please guys comment down below, road to 500 and please share the video, have your friends like it and subscribe. If you're new, Wagwan guys, welcome to the fambo. Press that subscribe button for me. Thank you. <laughs> All right guys, love, manas, and always respect on feet time.